Hello everyone. Under normal circumstances, this would be graduation week at the University of Aberdeen for summer 2021. We'd all be wearing our gowns and caps and you'd walk across the stage for me to doff you on the head to mark the fact that this is your special day. You've achieved your degree and we'd all be celebrating your success. Of course, under the current circumstances, it's still not possible to have our graduation ceremonies in the normal way. But we all still have a right to celebrate what our students have achieved. In fact, your achievement under these extraordinary circumstances is especially praiseworthy. All our students have shown amazing resilience and perseverance, despite these difficulties, to achieve outstanding academic success. So today I'm delighted to congratulate you on that success. The whole university community is very proud of the academic qualification that you've gained. We're planning to celebrate your achievements in person when circumstances allow. So we hope to see you again with your friends and family in Aberdeen. Thank you for all the work you've done and all the contributions that you've made while you've been a student here with us at the university. A very big well done from all of us here. On behalf of all University of Aberdeen graduates around the world, a very warm welcome to you, the extraordinary class of 2021, to the global alumni family. I can only imagine how challenging it has been for you to finish your studies and graduate in the midst of a global pandemic. But I want you to know just how proud the Aberdeen alumni family is of you and how excited we are to see what you will go on to achieve. Now that you are a member of the alumni family, I encourage you to stay in touch with the university, take advantage of the benefits, the enormous benefits of being an Aberdeen alumni brings you. Make sure you are signed up to the email list, connected on social media, and get involved with any local group, uh, groups or chapters in your area. This is a lifelong network that will serve you well in the years to come. Finally, on behalf of all your fellow Aberdeen alumni, I want to say a huge congratulations. Well done. To complete your studies and graduate under such challenging circumstances is an incredible achievement, and you should be very proud indeed. I'm sure you will be celebrating with friends and family to the extent that you can, and rightly so. Congratulations, class of 2021. Dear graduates, welcome to today's graduation ceremony. Still a rather unusual one, despite us getting used to these new normal ways of doing things. Congratulations to all of you. You all worked long and hard and learned a great deal to get to where you are today. For many of you, the journey to this point will have required substantial personal sacrifices. Congratulations also to your parents and families their love, support, and encouragement have enabled you to succeed. Today you are joining a very long line of Aberdeen graduates, men and women who have studied here before you and who have gone to enrich the lives of those around them. More than 500 years of learning, inquiry, curiosity, and discovery. More than 500 years of thinking and of putting those ideas into practice. And now you are he heading into the same wide world, unknown world of your futures as those Aberdonian graduates. You are facing a world with many technological, environmental and societal challenges. These great challenges of the 21st century may seem daunting to you, but when you consider 
what has been achieved by your predecessors over the last hundred years, you've got to believe that these challenges are within your capability to overcome. Many things we take for granted today – planes, television, lasers, antibiotics, medical imaging, computers, the internet – were achieved within the last 100 years by creative engineers and scientists just like you and have since changed virtually every aspect of human life. You too can forge new pathways to solve problems. In the world of fake news, post-truths and alternative facts, finding right solutions has never been more important. Whatever you do and wherever you go, remember that. And remember that your university was founded more than five centuries ago with the purpose of being open to all and dedicated to pursuit of truth in the service of others. What an excellent motto. If we all start using this as a guiding principle in our professional lives, this world will very soon be a better place. Your degree will not only change your life, but has the potential to change the lives of others. So use it well. Many congratulations once again to all of you, our graduates. We are extremely proud of you, and we wish you all every happiness and success. Enjoy your virtual graduation day. Doctor of Philosophy, Chenedu Kasmir Ete, Konstantinos Georgias, Eugene Izuka Ogosi, Wada Patela, Wanawan Pragot, Mozin Ali Raza, Chenwei Wang, Marinella Zurka, Master of Science Decommissioning, Michael Aspe, Thomas Button, Luke Gibson, Gavin Stuart Smith, Oil and Gas Engineering, Yamileno Sean Apangelosun, Samuel Barima Asari, Mohad Mohammed Abdel Monim El Sidig Mohammed Ahmed, Peace Namono Nazeba, Chukwudi Patrick Okafor, Arsalan Pishkar, Kufri Basi Udosin, Faisal Zia, Petroleum Engineering, Sharon Akwebi Amula, Amirbek Ormgali, Project Management, Tracy Helen Child, Richard Dye, Yannick Christian Gross, Daniel Paul Hurst, Michelle Hutchison, Iona Smith, Saranya Sri Srikantharasa, Melissa Hellas Sikakolu. Renewable Energy Engineering, Mohammed Abdel Halim Hassab Mohammed Edarus. Richard Azubiki Ikunwufi, Geoffrey Owino Oyugi, Paolo Federico Prunzel, Shirin Syed, Subsea Engineering, Pimpida Pinesong, Johan Thierry Sirara, Postgraduate Diplomas, Project Management, Giorgio Polina. Postgraduate Certificates Advanced Mechanical Engineering Carlos Gvedas Decommissioning Patani Keshananavong Ranbir Singh Chung Project Management Andrew Graham Buchan Safety and Reliability Engineering Salim Abbas Rauther Master of Engineering, Honours Degrees, Chemical Engineering, Ruya Abdul Aziz Ali Al Karusi, Craig William Bainge, Eucrit Chimwinyu, Prashit Pramon Deshpande, Reza Faggi, Teague Feeney, Ross Fitton, Kirsty Don Hadley, James Oliver Hopwood, Hayden William Judge, Alexia Karamula, Joshua King, Michael Coma, Callum Alexander, McLeod McKinnon, Alistair Mitchell, 
Baptiste Guillaume Rerol, Scott Robertson, Joe Rouse, Romeo Francesco Joseph Santini, Imran Saeed Sarwar, Misela Vexler, Martin William Wardrop, Timothy Benedict Augustine Welsh, Wakas Zia, Civil Engineering, Archie David Henri Grieve, Roderick Lee, Civil and Environmental Engineering, Jake Sillipo, Civil and Structural Engineering, Nicole Louise Blanchflower, Emily Barr, Aaron Hamish Elder, Amy Grant, Lyon Kelly, Andrew Robert Mayer, Michael Walker, Civil Engineering with Subsea Technology, Anelka Anisia Costa, Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Kim Beatty, Graham Dennis Shane, Joel William George Curry, Isaiah Jan, Ben Derek Matson, Ryan James Shearer, Electrical and Electronic Engineering with Renewable Energy, Ayub Lagrisi, Mechanical Engineering, Antons Alexandrovs, Gabriel Antoine Cariou Renel, Nathan Daniel Corey, Ethan Coventry, Peter James Eagles, Ewan Morrison Everett, Kyle Finney, Jamie Kenneth Thomas Fubister, Douglas John Gilmartin, Jack Robert Johnson, Michael Joyce, Keith Kinloch, Mantas Liudzius, Leon Baral Charbel Marie Joseph Remesat, Ife Bridget Rowan Dempsey, James William Roxby, Michal Sanad, Cameron Scott, Jody Ellen Stewart, Dylan Thornton, Mark Norman Tullock, Alistair Ruri Twiddle, Ewan Samuel Williamson, Quan Lock Wong, Mechanical Engineering with Management, Athanasios Nicolaos and Athanasiou, Ethan Daniel Murray, Michael Panaitou, Kirsty Isabella Pratt, Dale Rennie, Mechanical and Electrical Engineering, Lucy Rachel Bain, Kevin Alfonso Cox, Petroleum Engineering, Stefan Georgescu, Cyprian Theodore Panetescu, Bachelor of Engineering Honours Degrees, Chemical Engineering, Ali Abdullah S.A. Almari, Joseph Lever Anderson, Scott Anderson, Bayou Prasetya Andresta, Kalim Arshad, Mubarak Yaslam M.S. Bani Hydra, Connell John Bryce, Sky Elizabeth Cameron, Callum Fowler, Sarah Fullerton, Ziki Liao, Cade James McCormack, William Alexander McDade, Kieran Joseph Matthew MacDonald, Muna Mohammed, Laura Palishikit, Hamad Rashid, Hamza Rashid, Parandeep Singh Sandhu, Adyenki Oluwatobi Talabi, Prozemslaw Trubzinski, Engineering, Civil, Cameron Stuart Thompson, Anastasia Tsuporja, Engineering, Civil and Structural, Nazar Alem Rani, Luca Eckhart, Team Gebre Gergish Gebre Salasi, Abdul Rehman Shahid, Graham John Kilpatrick Thorpe, Ryan Michael Waller, Shi How Are Ye? Engineering, Electrical and Electronic, Nikhail Babulal Bakrania, Jack Douglas Martin Broadhurst, Luigi Camilleri, Fraser Jeffrey, Adam Joseph Thomas Lane, Kyle Samuel, 
Vincent Joshua Achanita Skinner, Thomas Smith, Andrew John Stephen, Greg Stuart Strachan, Engineering Mechanical, Daniel John Anderson, Michael Calvert, Hugh Carson, Uchichukwu Stefano Chigbarugu, Yuen Doi, Kai Edwards, Halima Eltijani Elias, Hadi Hassan Farouk, Adam Christopher George, Allah Hiba Hampton, Kenneth Gordon David Johnson, Kimo Antero Kopanen, Jacob Lennox, Sam McKenzie, George Jonathan Frank Mills, Lewis Cameron Pearson, Dylan Petrie, Santo Repon, Christopher Riva, Nicholas Edward Robertson, Yuan Shao, Petar Spanovich, Aidan Lewis Spark, Ryan Wilson, Finley Ian Wright, Engineering Mechanical with Oil and Gas Studies, Sat Dusekov, Basil HM SMS Matar, Waji Rafal Rojek, Engineering Mechanical and Electrical, Aidan Belton Shure, Saleh Amin Kehul, James Robert Munkar, Nikita Murasovs, Alexander Pustrom, Petroleum Engineering, Asma GHSAM Al Rashidi, Beverly Kenfuema Buata, Christian Giesling Kenmongya Shenu, Alberto Lennar, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Engineering Chemical, Nahian Raisa Chowdhury. Dear graduates, I'm delighted to join you today as we celebrate the successful completion of your degrees. So first and foremost, congratulations. Completing a degree is never easy, but the past year has made it challenging in ways that few of us would have predicted. We're very proud of you and your accomplishments, particularly under these difficult circumstances, and I hope that you are as well. I would also like to extend my congratulations to your families and friends and those who encouraged you, supported you, reassured you, and rooted for you during your years at Aberdeen, and perhaps many years leading up to them. Many of you will not be here today without their support, so I encourage you to take the time to acknowledge their contributions towards your successes and accomplishments that we are celebrating today. And while today is certainly a day for celebration, graduation is by no means an end to your education or an end to your development. I know some of you are pursuing research degrees and taught MSc degrees, and I look forward to seeing you in Aberdeen again if you choose to pursue those degrees here. Some of you will be joining graduate schemes in your respective engineering disciplines, while others may be joining non-engineering sector, such as finance, business, or management. But wherever your next destination is, I'm confident that the skills you learned at Aberdeen, the problem-solving skills, the communication skills, the skills to learn new things, will serve you well. I would like to close my remarks by encouraging you also to stay in touch with us. Let us know from time to time where your education at Aberdeen and the degrees you've received today have taken you. Congratulations once again, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. To the Aberdeen Chemical Engineering graduates of 2021, I want to say a heartfelt congratulations. This is a challenging degree, and this has been some of the most turbulent and changing times for university study that I've seen. So well done again, you should be really proud of your achievements. I have every confidence you're gonna to continue to survive and thrive and develop as the qualified engineers, chemical engineers you now are. And so on behalf of all of the staff in the school, I want to say good luck with the future and we're rooting for you. As the program leader for electrical and electronics engineering, I congratulate you all for your successful graduation. The entire electrical and electronics engineering group wishes you a bright future. Congratulations to all our graduating mechanical engineers. It's an outstanding achievement, especially given the additional challenges from the last year or so. I want to wish you all the best of luck in your future careers and hope you put your engineering skills to good use to make the world a better place. Civil engineering graduates, on behalf of the School of Engineering, especially on behalf of the civil engineering staff, 
in the school, and most especially on behalf of myself. I wish to congratulate you on graduating with a civil engineering degree from Aberdeen University. I'm sure I speak on behalf of uh, at least most of my colleagues when I say that it has been an honour and a pleasure to be involved in your journey to get to this stage. I hope you have enjoyed um, that journey as well. I also hope that you and your friends and your family will today enjoy your graduation, that in whatever form that takes, that you will celebrate your achievement to get to this point. My fervent hope, however, is that you will go from this milestone and use it to build for yourselves a satisfying and rewarding and enjoyable career. And then from that, you will all go on to have a great life. You certainly leave us with my best wishes for you to, uh, to have that. So, take care, everyone. Hi, I'm Hossein Hamidi, Program Leader for Undergraduate Petroleum Engineering. Warmest congratulations on your graduation and best wishes for your next adventure. So happy to share in the excitement of your graduation day and so very proud of you. Blessings on your graduation and for your future.